There has been a rather extensive list of new features in iOS 16 that were announced in the WWDC keynote, but being such a big update, there are a few features that didn't quite make it onto the keynote, but are coming to iOS 16 nonetheless. I've discovered six of these unspoken upgrades that are coming to iOS 16 that particularly stood out to me, and I'll be sharing them with you, beginning with the improvements to the camera on the iPhone 13s. This concerns portrait mode. There is now more attention being paid to foreground blur in portrait mode. When you have a subject in the foreground, it would blur it out, probably in more detail. Previously in portrait mode, you would still get some amount of foreground blur, but I definitely agree that more of the computing power is dedicated to rendering the background blur. So really glad that foreground blur is now being paid extra attention. The second improvement goes to cinematic mode. They're refining the accuracy of the subject separation. The documentation says that accuracy is now improved for profile angles, as well as for cropping out hair and glass. I personally love cinematic mode, so I'm really glad that it's getting better. This third upgrade, I think is something that many people would appreciate, and that is landscape face ID. Face ID will work in landscape on iOS 16 on supported models. This is a feature that has always been on the iPad Pros. It was never a thing on the iPhones. You always had to have your iPhone upright and straight if you want to use Face ID. So now it's really glad that you can unlock your iPhone when you're holding it horizontally. And the fourth feature is again something that I thought would come along sooner, but there is now the option to enable keyboard haptics on iPhone. So when you're tapping, there's haptic feedback from the Taptic Engine. Now the Taptic Engine on iPhones has always been my number one in terms of haptic feedback quality on any mobile device. So to enjoy some of that haptic feedback as you're typing along on your keyboard, finally, we're getting that in iOS 16. Number five is a relatively minor, but still very, very thoughtful update. And that's the ability to copy and paste edits in the Photos app. So now it kind of works more like a photo editing software like Adobe Lightroom, where if you've shot a series of photos with the same exposure, same subject, you could do your refinements to one photo and then apply that across a few of the other photos in the same series. So now you can do that in your Photos app on iPhone. And feature number six is an accessibility feature. If you have an Apple Watch Series 6 or later, you can mirror your Apple Watch's display onto your iPhone, kind of like an AirPlay display, and you can have full control of your Apple Watch from your iPhone. So those were six new features coming to iOS 16 that weren't mentioned during the keynote, but are listed in the new features section of the iOS 16 preview page. I'm really looking forward to try out some of these new improvements for myself when I get my hands on the public beta for iOS 16. But until then, if you have not seen my thoughts and recap video for this year's WWDC keynote, do head on over and check that out. And maybe I'll see you over in that video.